the one thing I would say about Population 2 is it's a look at the post-apocalypse that hasn't been done before. It's a new reason to use that genre in film, rather than just, it'll be fun to make a post-apocalyptic film. It's really interesting to explore this sort of a world without, without a lot of effects and a lot of, you know, extra stuff, because usually all these, these movies are really, um, you know, overdone with, not overdone, but they have the opportunity to do CGI and stuff, so. Well, it's based entirely on, on the psychological effects on a person rather than the adventure and intrigue of the world ending. It's very it's a very internal piece as far as the as far as the uh, protagonist goes. She's like on her last her last leg of hope, I think. Um, she's going through like she she's a, a hopeful person, you know, but she just gets raked over the coals and she's on her very last leg of hope, and it's and then it, it fails her, you know. I mean that it doesn't fail her because I think she wins out in the end, you know. But that last, you know, those last days, like she just was worn out from it all. In this case specifically, the the world ending had less of a psychologically damaging effect on Lilith than what had happened to her in her interactions with people that she loved and being betrayed. The things that happened in her, in her, in her life, yeah. like her stuffy, scientific, rich, wealthy world, <laughs> were, were more <laughs> emotionally not devastating than things that happened in the apocalypse, I think. And she kind of enjoys being alone and enjoys, you know, So yeah. the, 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 the journey and the, the adventure of being, being without everyone, even though it is, it is very sad and it's, no, I think it's kind of a thrill.